everyone and thank you for clicking on this video. In case you are new here, I am Rizal or the Traveling Island Girl on social media and I publish videos about the Caribbean and other destinations that I have visited but I especially like to share travel tips about the island of St. Martin, a place I've been calling home for the past 20 years. In this video, I am joined by my beautiful friend, Amelie, and today we are taking a drive from Simpson Bay to the capital of Dutch side, St. Martin, Phillipsburg. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. this drive right from this roundabout it's located right at the end of the airport runway and this exit leads to the village of simpson bay which is also known as one of the entertainment districts of the island it is especially liked by visitors because of the many restaurants bars and hotels located in this area where we are on right now is where most of the island's nightlife concentrates with casinos well-known restaurants great clubs and plenty of bars offering fun happy hours and more it is known as the second town on the dutch side of the island having most of what one needs for an everyday life like banks supermarkets and more Simpson Bay was home to the island's fishermen and even though fishing still goes on today, Simpson Bay over the years has become the center of the tourist area. covers the channel that separates Simpson Bay from Coal Bay. This channel allows mega yachts and other boats to enter and exit the Simpson Bay Lagoon in the yachting season, which runs from end of November until about March. This drawbridge opens several times per day, which leads to traffic, so beware of the bridge opening times. At the time of filming, they are as follows. 8.30 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 11.30 a.m., 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. this area right here is still part of Simpson Bay, but officially the part of the strip after the bridge is actually the town of Coal Bay. The village of Simpson Bay stretches from the airport to the bridge, but it's more than fair to still think you're in Simpson Bay. As you can see, there are still plenty of entertainment spots here as well.
Tropicana Casino lies on our left, and this is the part that most people think is where Kobe starts, just an FYI. Another interesting fact is that Kobe is actually separated in two by the lagoon. No wonder most people get confused by the exact location of these two towns. And here we have reached yet another roundabout. This is the Coal Bay Roundabout. Here we take the first exit onto Coal Bay Hill. This hill separates the Simpson Bay and Coal Bay areas from town or the Phillipsburg area. for the views it offers and on a clear day like today it is easy to spot the neighboring islands of Seba, Sintestatius, St. Kitts and Anguilla. It is therefore always a great idea to make a photo stop on the top of the hill. Okay, let's continue our drive. This part of the Kobe Hill is absolutely gorgeous. Make sure you enjoy the views from here. Another roundabout. 
here you want to keep to the right and take the third exit which leads you down the hill. This part gives you a beautiful view of the neighborhood of K Hill. That's right, one more roundabout. I promise this is the last one, or is it? To the left is our medical center, which is currently being expanded, but we're not going that way. Take the second exit on the right. right is the Bel Air Beach Hotel where I used to work and next to it just a little bit further is the DV Little Bay Resort this is the new building of that resort which is going to be a all-inclusive or so I've heard now prepare yourself for a stunning view want to stop and take your time to admire this view you can and you totally should just a little bit ahead is a lookout point From here you can see beautiful Philipsburg below and to the right is the St. Martin Harbor where the cruise ships dock. There's no ship in today which means we get to drive down Front Street without too many people strolling around. section we keep driving straight to enter Front Street. Hold on, let's stop and reverse here to say hi to my sister-in-law and owner of the Honeypot Reserve, Ariana. It's a co-working space, cafe, and organic market. Stop by, say hi, have a coffee, and have a piece of homemade banana bread. You will not regret it.
We're approaching the center of the downtown area. Here you will find many shops to browse. For more on what all you can do and see in Philipsburg, check out this video. I will make sure to add a link in the description below or you can wait till the end of this video when it pops up on your screen. Let me also take this time to remind you to please like this video and subscribe if this kind of content is up your alley. Click on the bell to be notified of my new videos as soon as they go up. Make sure to stop, if you can, to admire the iconic courthouse before proceeding towards the end of Front Street. Another must-see in Philipsburg is Old Street. It's so colorful and cute. reaching the end of Front Street and with that the end of this video. I do hope you enjoyed this drive with us and let me know in the comment section below what other parts of the island you would like to see. A huge thanks goes out to my friend Amelie for taking the time to take this drive with me and to you thank you so much for watching. My name is Rizal, the traveling island girl. See you all next time.